these are Kappa shaders, one of the most beautiful shaders for Minecraft. And I'm going to teach you how to download and install these shaders for Minecraft 1.21. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step to download and install Kappa shaders is to click the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install these shaders. However, if you don't want to follow along, just go ahead and scroll down to step one and click download. That is going to redirect you over here where we're going to download the 1.20.1 version. Just click on these three dots and click download file. And I know that says 1.20.1, but don't worry because Kappa shaders 1.20.1 are completely compatible with Minecraft 1.21. And I'm going to show you how to add that in a second. Once the shader is downloaded, let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. Now, for the next step, if you already have some type of shader loaders installed, like Iris shaders or Optifine, go ahead and add these shaders into your shaders folder. And that's it. You're set. You're ready to go. You could use the shaders already. However, if you don't have any type of shader loader installed, let's go ahead and download one. In this case, we're going to go ahead and download Iris shaders. To do so, click on the third link in the description. These are written guide on how to download and install these shaders. We also have a ton of videos in the channel. If you were to need to install these and you had any issues, go ahead and watch those videos. So anyways, once over here, I scroll down to step one and click download is here. That is going to redirect you over here where we're going to click download now and then go ahead and click download universal jar. And while Iris is downloading, here's a message from Apex Hosting. If you need a Minecraft server, either Java or Bedrock server, a server that is hosted online so you don't have to worry about IP leaks, IP attacks or anything like that, then Apex Hosting is a perfect service for you. They'll give you 25% off if you use the first link in the description and something that I personally love besides them having support for over 200 mod packs and them having locations all around the world so you don't have to worry about lagging is that you could actually create the server and and access the server console through your phone, meaning that you'll be away from the house and stuff and still kick people out of the server, change the settings, do whatever you want through your phone. It is your server after all. Again, 25% off the first link in the description. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. Once I is downloaded, let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop, just like we did with Kappa shaders. And now we should have a zip file, which are the shaders and the Iris installer. Next, make sure you close Minecraft 1.21 as well as your Minecraft launcher 100%. And now right click on Iris installer, click open with and click Java. And that is going to open this little installer right here. As you can see, 1.21 is already selected and all we gotta do now is hit install the only issue that you could have in here is that you don't have java 21 which will then prevent you from opening the iris installer or maybe it opens as a web browser or a text document something like that it just doesn't work right so you do need java 21 this is a requirement the thing is that after minecraft got updated to minecraft 1.20.5 you now need java 21 to open any jar files or to install any mods for minecraft you will need java 21 i'm gonna leave this guide in the description it's probably gonna be the fourth link installing java 21 is super simple you just download it and hit next a couple of times and you will have java 21 installed Maybe you have to run a jar fix after. So I'm also going to leave a guide there on how to run a jar fix to make sure you link those jar files to your new Java instance. But anyways, once you install Iris, go ahead and close out from the installer. And now you could even delete the Iris installer as we don't need it anymore. The next step is to actually open the Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher open, if you install Iris properly, you should see selected here automatically. If not, just head over to installations and make sure you have modded selected and you might see it in here. And if you still don't see it, just click on new installation, name this whatever you want. Like for example, I'm going to name my Apex hosting since it will give you 25% off your first server using the first link in the description and then on version just look for iris and then select the 1.21 version and then just hit create down here on the bottom right and that would add an instance of iris for you anyways no matter how you found iris or how you created it in here or added it in here just go ahead and hit play on it you might get a little prompt there saying that you're sure you want to play modern minecraft just click yes and then go ahead and click play again and the game will start loading now once the game opens in order for us to go ahead and test those shaders make sure you're playing on iris you should know because it says fabric down here go ahead and launch a single player world or a multiplayer world because yes this will work on multiplayer as well well, again, if you need a server, first link in the description. So go ahead and launch a world. This time I just launched one of my single player worlds. And once the world loads, as you can see, I already have shaders on, but I'm going to go ahead and take them off because we're going to go ahead and put on the Kappa shaders. Now to add the shaders, you want to go ahead and press escape, head over to options and head over to where it says video settings right here. And as you can see, this whole menu has changed a lot. What you're going to do now is head over to shader packs. And here you probably don't see anything like I have a bunch of different shaders installed. If you want to learn how to install any of those, go ahead and watch our videos or read our guides. Anyways, to add Kappa shaders, just click where it says open shader pack folder in here and then minimize the game so you can see your desktop in here and drag and drop the kappa zip file into this folder so that zip file that we downloaded in the first step drag and drop it into this folder you can now delete it from the desktop because you already have it here in your shader packs folder head back into the game open minecraft again and then you should see kappa appearing here in your shader list just go ahead and select it and hit apply give it a couple seconds depending on your computer it might take longer or it might take less than mine this is just really up to you so let's go ahead and wait for kappa to load and there we go after a little bit of loading we should see the shaders working in the back as you can see we have kappa shaders now our install and these shaders are really beautiful look at how beautiful the water is i mean i'm not even sure my computer could handle all of this it's just amazing but yeah these are kappa shaders working in minecraft 1.21 something pretty cool about the shader loader that we're using which is iris is that you could actually disable the shaders by pressing k and you could enable them back by pressing k one more time just give it a couple seconds and there you go you got the shaders back in the game anyways if i was able to help you don't forget to subscribe and as always bye bye